Even in the grave, his Lord for death could not hold him captive. Even in the grave, his Lord, his Lord, his Lord. He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times, and His praise shall continually be in my mouth and in your mouth. Hello there. Come on, let's give God some praise. This is a wonderful day. The Bible says this is the day the Lord has made and we ought to rejoice and be glad in it. Hello there. Let's have a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, you are so good. You are so, so good. You are so, you are good than the word good. Can't even have any adjective to describe how good you are. Oh, you are Lord. You are good. And your mercies indeed endure it forever. We thank you, Father, for another day. Oh, Lord, another time to bring your word to your people. Let revelation knowledge increase. Let understanding abound in the life of your people so that it cannot be destroyed. For they that have understanding cannot be destroyed. We thank you, Spirit of God, fall afresh and do your people good. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on, shout amen, somebody. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, uh, let me just acknowledge the disciples and apostles. Stella, God bless you. Lavanda, Lavanda, God bless you. Lena, God bless you. God bless all of you. Madhu, Madhu from India. Charity from United States, Lane from United States, God bless you. Praise the Lord to you, Madhu. God bless you. Gilson from Turkey, Turkey, God bless you. Listen, don't worry, Turkey will come back to where it belongs. We are praying for Turkey. Turkey will come back. There's no way Mary, the mother of Jesus, will end up in Turkey and Turkey will not represent represent God. Are you listening? Don't worry. Apostle Sogi from uh, Texas, from Texas, United States. God bless you. God bless you. We are coming to you live. You better get yourself ready. We are coming to you live. The conference of uh, Sylvia Blessings Conference, Speak O Lord or Remember Me O God. Well, Speak O Lord and Remember Me. It's all together. Lord, remember us. We're coming to you live a couple of weeks from now. So all, all roads, like they said, all roads leads to Texas. All road leads to Texas and we're coming to you live. So make sure that, um, you know, you get, um, you get yourself ready. Apostle Sogi, we're coming, we're coming to your homeland. All right. 
make sure you, you know, I want to see how, how you take care of your people. All right, I'm coming because I saw you the other day, you know, blessing on your birthday, blessing, you know, the people all over the world, man. It, 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 you know, I, it, it, I felt it here. You know what I mean? I felt it here. It was such a blessing. God bless you for the wonderful work you are doing and continue to do that. Indeed, you are a good, a good apostle um, and disciple um, and following your mother right. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All of you. Now, as always, as always, please um, share this broadcast. All right. Share it. Listen, keep sharing it until I finish speaking. How's that? Now we're going to have, I'm going to have a deal with you. Just keep sharing. Keep tagging. Kojo, Kojo, disciple Kojo Afienya from Ghana. God bless you. God bless you. Keep sharing and keep tagging, inviting people, your friends, loved ones, enemies, anybody, until I finish, until we finish, all right? Just keep doing it. Madhu, keep inviting your friends and loved ones and all that until the broadcast is over. <clears throat> it's only going to be about 45 minutes to an hour, all right? I appreciate all of you. Do that. <clears throat> all right, God bless you. God bless you and God bless you again. All right, now. We are going to um, uh, continue for where we left off yesterday. We left off yesterday dealing with the subject. Oh, Disciple Rama. Disciple Rama from Canada. Disciple Rama from Canada. Lynette, where are you from? Which country and which state or, you know, where, what part of the earth are you from? I want to acknowledge all of you this morning. Disciple Rama from Canada. God bless you. God bless you. And uh, Sam, Sam, Pastor Sam Conter, God bless you, brother. God bless you for tuning in. Let's we, we share. We're gonna be um, sharing the word of God. Listen, just keep sharing, keep inviting, keep tagging, and inviting, and all that. Until keep doing it until we finish. All right, because definitely um, somebody's going to be blessed. Ma uh, um, disciple Mary John, Mary John from. Mary Jan from India, India, God bless you. Lynette from Kenya, oh yes, 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 from Kenya. Lynette from Kenya, Lynette from Kenya. God bless you, Mary Jan from India. Please continue to tag your friends, loved ones. Ah, the the disciple slash apostle, songwriter, and all that good stuff with her. Nephia Adum Shira. No, Inshira, Adum Inshira, <laughs> from Canada. God bless you. God bless you. Please keep sharing. Keep loving. Listen, it's all about love. All right, share it. Just love somebody. It, listen, anybody that that you you share things with, and they don't want to receive it. <clears throat> excuse me. The only thing they can do if they don't want you again is to just you know delete you. It's not you don't need to force nobody, but it's love. It's about love. And we are just about entering into the atmosphere, you know, the, the world's, you know, atmosphere of love. Talk about a time for giving. Christmas is coming. Exciting, exciting Christmas. Oh, listen, I, I, I don't know about you, but I love Christmas with snow. I love Christmas with snow. I mean, if I don't, I don't get, you know, I don't get the snows like, man, that's a, you know, where, where's the sledge? You know, I got, got a sledge and, you know, the weather gets cold and, you know, just get your, you know, get close to the, uh, <clears throat> to the fireplace and all that. Man, it's beautiful. So beautiful. All right. So beautiful. Now let's get serious here. So, uh, please, God bless all of you apostles, disciples of God, uh, on the platform. I don't take your time for granted. Uh, I know you could be doing some things that uh, it's all equally important, but to, to come together in the time like this so we can uh, receive from, from God and share it and share it um, to the world. It's, it's an indication of your love for him as well because Jesus said that if we love him, we are to obey his commandment. That is to go into all the nations with the with the gospel so when you share when you share in a time like this when you tag a friend in a time like this you are um you are you are indeed advocating the gospel 
you are advocating the gospel you are spreading you are obeying the master oh what how how wonderful it is to obey the master's command and uh, receive all the blessings so let's continue to do that even as we uh, embark on the subject that i believe affects each and everyone's life one way or the other one way or the other this morning i, I was i was um i uh, was just stating some things uh where the holy spirit was concerned the holy spirit you know drew my mind and my attention and you know to the fact that uh, how people um you know have um have um, drawn him to be a dove you know they've drawn him and to be a dove and using dove to represent him listen he said it's not a dove <laughs> and i was like okay he says i'm not a dove and i said okay i mean he woke me up this morning i you know i was i was about to just you know just put my hand on my wife on the bed and he says i am not a dove oh uh oh so I had to get up and spend some time and talk to him. And then he took me to the word of God, to the word and explain and open my understanding. I said, oh, wow. For all these years, all these years, I, you know, I get this, this, um, this picture of the Holy Spirit as a dove, you know, and, and he said, I'm not a dove. I am a person. So that is for another day, not today, all right? So anyway, he spoke to me about it. I'm going to, I'll share with you. He said, it's not a dove. Holy Spirit said, I'm not a dove. I am a human. I am, I'm a person. I speak. I move. I, I, I get, you know, I, I, I come to the place where I don't like and that kind of stuff. He, he I mean, he continued to share certain things with me and I'll share with you. But again, he also opened my understanding in the subject matter here called, called um, loneliness. You know, yesterday we were talking about what to do when you feel lonely, what to do when you feel lonely. And um, this, this is um, a subject that affects just about everybody, just about everybody, one way or the other. Rich, listen, the interesting thing I found out that even rich, even even rich people, rich in terms of having everything. I mean, all kind, all material stuff. All right, and and all that. Yes, including even those with spirituals stuff, like our master himself. Our master, master, uh, uh, come. The Bible says that in the Garden of Gethsemane, he, he prayed, and his, you know, he he his he, his soul was 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 down you know you you you, you, it, you when you come to that place beloved it, it, it drifts you into a place of loneliness you feel lonely and then um it's it's um uh it's something that um um we i we want to we're going to be talking about it but uh, again yesterday i was reading something to you uh interestingly uh, but um, the subject of loneliness, and I want to repeat this. So loneliness is a complex and uh, on, it's a usual unpleasant emotional response to isolation. So, so loneliness has to do with your emotions. Loneliness has to do with your emotions. How, how you know, you, you respond to things around you. Okay. And uh, your social, social, the social issues around you can can cause you to be, you know, how you emotionally respond to things around you can bring you to that place of loneliness. Okay, but there is a way out of loneliness, and that's what we're going to be looking at. All right, loneliness typically includes anxious feelings anxious feelings <clears throat> excuse me now you, re you remember that uh, the scripture tells you and i that we should be anxious for nothing all right we should be anxious for nothing but in in through prayer and supplication 
Okay, so in other words, when you come to the place where um, things that can draw you, attract you, to for you to emotionally respond, okay, that could bring you to the place, the state of loneliness, remember that you have to pray. You have to pray, all right? So loneliness, loneliness typically includes anxious feelings about a lack of connection or communication with other people or other beings okay with other beings both in the present and extending into even the future so when it comes to the subject of loneliness i i am trying to bring your attention to the cause of being or becoming lonely Yesterday, I shared with you that <clears throat> loneliness is different from singleness. There's a distance between loneliness and singleness. Being single doesn't mean you are lonely. And therefore, you need to look for the opposite partner, opposite gender to occupy that space. No, you, you can't be married, all right, be in, married, in marriage and be lonely. You can have, you can be in a big family and be lonely. You can have the best job and be lonely. And we're going to be, I'm telling you, and, and most of the time, you, you realize that people, and the studies, studies, research have shown this, and, and I want to read something to you here. Also, so you stay with me. Uh, okay, as such, loneliness can be felt even when surrounded by people. Loneliness can be found, okay, even when you are surrounded by people, the causes of loneliness varied, okay, which includes include social, mental, emotional, and physical factors. These are the areas that causes one to, you know, come into the state of loneliness. These are the causes: social, mental, emotional physical factors okay these are the areas that will cause one to become lonely so so um loneliness has nothing to to do with being single or yeah or, or are, are you listening let me acknowledge some um apostles and disciples who are coming late diamond god bless you now now from ghana also god bless you god bless you now mario Mario, God bless you. So loneliness, please, please, like I said, today from hands on, we're going to be sharing, inviting, um, tagging friends until this program is over. Because these messages are so important in your everyday life. And if you, the apostle and the disciples, don't grab these things, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have... The, the tools to teach others. Are you listening? These things that you have received, teach others, the Bible says. Teach others. And so we are living in the times where we have come to the place of, listen, practical Christian lifestyles. And this is where we have to, you know, um, uh, uh, live. Okay. So we're talking about uh, the causes of loneliness. All right. Social factors social fact what are the social factors social factors like you know what is going on around you your socioeconomic lifestyle all right your finances your 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 relationships your your you know the family you know and and all that can cause one depending on the factors depending on the factors can bring you to the place of loneliness in intro I mean yesterday I got a lot of responses after the broadcast and uh, one which caused me to, to be honest with you I I bust up and I had a good laugh yesterday and that was one lady um, don't even remember the name that he says that uh, even your children can cause you to be lonely <laughs> oh boy I thought that was the most funniest I don't know but I mean how it came 
you know, the hell response, and uh, I had a very good laugh. I had a good laugh. I tell you, you know, that, uh, you know, so it, I don't know if she's going through something with her children and all that, but it says, even your children can can let you, can put you in a state of loneliness. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That was very interesting, and, and um, it was, it was, it was funny. But anyway, research, again, has shown that loneliness is prevalent throughout society. Research has shown that loneliness is prevalent throughout the society, including people in, watch this now, including people in marriages. Remember, I said that to you yesterday, including people in marriages, relationships, families, all right, and on and on, and including those with successful careers. Okay? Loneliness is prevalent throughout the societies. And it, it continues to say, including people in marriages. So, being in marriage doesn't mean that you can't be lonely. Alright? Including successful career, career people. Most of the time, and, and, and you know, uh, years ago, I mean, I, in business, I've met a lot of people, all kinds of people. And um, uh, I've met people, career, I mean, career people in career who are very lonely. I mean, they, they, they come out during the day, you know, with the, with the what I call mask, the mask, you know, the makeup stuff that make them look like, not, you know, they don't have no worries. All right. And they put it all. But later in the, by the end of the day, they by themselves and not just be by themselves. You see, you can be by yourself and not be lonely. But they, they come into a, they are, they are come into a state of loneliness based on their social, social issues. The social issue that surrounds them or the family issues that they are involved in or relational issues that they are involved in are you listening so so when it comes to the subject of loneliness okay it has nothing to do with how much you have now let me bring that and that is that is more that is more of uh, of um, you know the the, the 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 social materialistic area of uh, of one's life it has been, he says, he continued to say, it has been a long explored theme in a literature of human beings since classic, classical antiquity. All right? Loneliness has also been described as social pain. Now, when I, when I got to that place, I, I see her, I paused. Social pain. And, and, so, and so I asked myself, now who in the scriptures or who in the Bible um, where we, when you know, it comes to our dispensation, uh, um, you know, found himself that, and immediately the spirit of God took me again to David. Remember yesterday, I I, I told you that I'm I'm leading to David. David was somebody who, um, you know, he had it all. I mean, he 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 saw poverty. He saw he saw the middle class he came to being a king and even with all that even with all that you know in his kingship where he has reached the the, the pinnacle of life he had you know he could have everything god has blessed him with just about everything strength you know and all that material things and all david as a result of a, a, a heinous crime, okay, with Bathsheba, and and you know taking away uh, uh, Uriah and all that, and covering it was exposed, okay, exposed. When that exposure came, and then of course you know Bathsheba took a seed, and God had to you know deal with that what that seed again and all that. David came to the place of loneliness i mean he was in pain and then you 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 know look, coupled with his own you know son you know absalom conspiring with 
you know, Ahithophel, you know, to try to, to destroy him and all that. I mean, that guy was in pain. He was in pain. So, and, and, and that, 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 that can draw you into a state of being lonely. And yet he was a king. Had everything around him. Are you listening? Everything. Okay. So when it comes to the state of loneliness, beloved, it has nothing to do with what you have or what you don't have. Now, what you have can bring, <laughs> what you have can also bring you into loneliness and what you don't have can bring you into that place. Are you listening? So this subject of, uh, of uh, being lonely or loneliness, it has again nothing to do with. And, and I believe that uh, I'm helping somebody for you to understand that being lonely doesn't mean that you have to get married or you have to find a boyfriend or a girlfriend. That 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 um, uh, emotional or you know physical attraction thing does not be doesn't solve you know, the, 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 um, uh, the issue of loneliness in one's life. It doesn't. It does not. Now, come back to, to David. You saw that irrespective of all, David had to still look to the Father. Are you listening? When it comes to that place, David, when he came, David was still looking to the Father. He saw us. He saw us. Because, you see, he couldn't get the satisfaction or you know that he needed he couldn't get what he want he needed from people he couldn't i mean the, he's a king but yet he was a, he came to the place of being lonely i mean look at look at our lord jesus all right the bible says that he, that he went to the garden of gethsemane to pray he took a handful of the disciples with them yet 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 he his soul was so sorrowful he came to the place of agony a place of of depression a place where he felt lonely he came back you know to the disciples and they were even asleep he at the time where he needed people, you know, to for him to listen. You you will come to that place if you haven't come to that place yet. Just keep living. That's all I'm going to tell you. Just keep living. You will come to the place of loneliness. But beloved, it is a place where church people have gone into demonic abyss and they couldn't come out. It's a place where unchurched people have gone into the abyss and never came out. And so you have the opportunity to hear this message and these teachings for you to realize what you ought to do when you find yourself in that place or you see anybody in that situation. David lifted his eyes to God and still talked to God and still spoke to God. Jesus lifted his eyes to the Father and spoke to the Father. He says, nevertheless, if it is possible, what, I, what, I, what I'm feeling right now, Lord, what I'm feeling right now, it's, it's heavy. My soul, my soul, there's sorrow in my soul. Now when it comes to, see, your, 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 your soul, when it comes to uh, being in the state of loneliness, again, as we read, it has to do with with your emotions and your your all these things coming all right corresponding to what is happening around you but i'm pointing you to the fact that as a child of god and as a believer when you find yourself in that area now it could be a cause of you having some trivial argument with your spouse and that can escalate into you know, like I said, being in the same house, but like living like a roommate. All right. You are, you then facing the sun where the sun rises from the east and she's 
looking at where the sun sets <laughs> okay in the south are you listening to me so that that can pull you into the state of loneliness you are with people but you are still lonely are you listening to me you have to put draw you have to come to yourself you have to remember that you have god and you need to talk to him you need to talk to god you know i, I believe you see medical science because they don't have the actual remedy for loneliness will give you some kind of um, medical fix medical fix medical fix but beloved it don't last that long the the person who has solu the solution for loneliness is god is god is god the bible says that adam fell you know lonely by himself that it's like i'm missing something i, I believe listen this is why i conclude that loneliness it, it the, the the vacuum okay it's a vacuum it says in in my humble opinion and what i'm coming i'm saying there's a spirit it, it, there's a spiritual vacuum it's a disconnection okay when you start feeling this it's a disconnection from the one who created you and the bible said that god comes in the cool of the day to have fellowship with his man adam all right anytime you you come to that state of of that loneliness check your spiritual um connection with god check it you realize that what what has brought you to this place you haven't even put it before god for god who has the answer to help you solve that situation and you have let that situation because you haven't talked to god or presented to god you have allowed that to escalate into a place where now you know your emotions and everything you know it's it's taking over what you're supposed to do are you listening to me so you see that when when david all right um, um took Bathsheba, all right somebody's wife slept with her she took pregnancy uh, you know became pregnant and and david didn't pray to god about this and then to cover the whole stuff so that the guy wouldn't come to see the wife pregnant and all that you know uh you know plotted you know for his death on the fraud of war didn't talk to god about it so he thought he was of course everything was still being covered and going on and going on and going on and you see <laughs> do it like I, doing right okay is when nobody is watching you but god doing right it's when nobody's when when nobody you see you know that nobody's watching you but god are you listening but with all that god was watching all these things see you come to when that is when you came to uh, uh some some uh 51 when david as it some 51 i believe some 51 where david have to uh, uh pray and confess his sins again you know to god and all that it, it, you know and, and it's like that my goodness he came to the place where it's like oh my goodness these circumstances have drifted me into this isolated place yet there were a lot of people around him a lot of people around him he was a king had a lot of people around him yet he was alone yet he was alone beloved this is very very um practically important in your christian life practically important in your christian life do you know anybody who went to church with you and you know that that person right after church goes home and they are you know in their private area of life they they, they feel alone that that thing is there so while they are in church all right their minds were not even there their minds were all because it's a social it's also a social gathering so it's like let me just go to forget you know about me being in the house but whilst they are there their minds are all over the place about this situation that they have not 
talk to God about it, and therefore nothing is nothing. They, they, their mind, their, their ears are clouded that they don't even hear from the Holy Spirit. And then they go back home, same way they, came, they went. Same way. Because research has also shown that there's a lot of church people who are lonely. A lot of church people. Who they, you know, it's called, it's, it, you know, they are called church people. Why? Because they go to church. Church people are alone. They are lonely. And it's as a result of the fact that, beloved, see, I, I said this, I, and I say this all the time. Going to church doesn't make you a Christian. No. Going to church, please listen carefully. Going to church does not make you a Christian. Who is a Christian? A person who has given his or her life completely and totally to God through Jesus. Has accepted Jesus as his or her Savior, her Lord and Savior. That's a Christian and walking in his path. Now, not, not to say that immediately you get born again right now, you begin to do, you know, work perfectly. And No, no, no. You are still going to fall, you know, like somebody says, even Jesus, when he was getting to his final destination of his ministry, he kept falling. How many times did Jesus fall with the cross? <laughs> so you're going to be falling, but it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you cannot rise up, all right? When the Spirit of God comes into you, all right, by you receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior. All right, John, John the Baptist says, Jesus, who baptizes with the Holy Spirit and with fire, he baptizes. So when you receive him, he baptizes you with the Holy Spirit, whom he promised, Jesus promised that when the Holy Spirit comes, he, he will come. He will come and he will, he will dwell with you and be in you forever. So when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, all right, his, the Holy Spirit comes. And his, so when you fall, the Holy Spirit will help you out to, to rise up. So you become righteous when you receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Scripture says that, that's why Scripture says, when the righteous fall, it didn't say that you wouldn't fall, you wouldn't fall. When the righteous fall, even seven times, he's going to rise up again. When the righteous fall, not when the sinner fall. When the sinner falls, he ain't getting up. When the righteous fall, you're going to rise up. That is why, that is why all of us, we are still standing. Where we are still, listen, we may fall, but we're going to stand. We're going to rise up. Praise God, somebody. We're going to rise up. Why? Because we are still, we are still following the master. We are still you know, fully. So all these things helps you to come to the place of maturity. That you're no longer a baby drinking milk, all right? But you begin to eat some some meat, and then you know if the, the the meat is good, and you know that the bone is going to be is going to be good also. Hallelujah! And you begin to eat some you know chew some bones, amen. So when it comes to the area of um, of loneliness. You have to understand that, listen, when you start going through these challenges, okay, social, um, um, economic things, and where your emotions, especially when you, you know that your, your emotions are beginning to take over that situation, listen, stop and go to God. Put before Him what you are facing. Are you listening? Stop. That little argument, that trivial argument with your spouse that, you know, may, may escalate, in, escalate into, uh, you know, uh, something to trigger your emotions for you to drift into the place of loneliness. It, listen, stop right there. And whatever that situation is, just talk to God about it. Talk to God about it. All right, stop and talk to God about it. Now, also, hey, daughter, God bless you. 
Josan, God bless you. Please share the broadcast. Continue to share. Invite your friends. Touch somebody. All right. Let them. We're speaking. We're talking about a subject that affects every one of us, whether you are a believer or you are not a believer. Now, if you are a believer, then you have a tool to help an unbeliever who may be going through. If you are also a believer and um, uh, you then it, it, it puts you in a place of being watchful, okay? Because beloved, beloved, this thing has is you know. Let me put it this way: it, it has it's it, it has no respect of persons. Loneliness has no respect of persons. If you don't understand it, and I'm not I'm using it. If you don't understand it, all right. It will, it will, it will sneak into your life, all right. In a way, especially when it comes to where you know you feel like, well, I, I am right, and he is wrong. <laughs> I am right, and he is wrong. That emotional, you know, tricky person, emotional tricky. That that that. I'm telling you, it, it will it will let you think that well. Who do you think? Who who does she think she is? And, and who does he think he is? Before you know, before especially I'm talking about close ones, close ones. All right, close one. Now, especially in the area of you being in a marriage, marital people. Okay, marital people. This is very very. This is very, very serious. You marital people, listen to this. I know what I'm talking about. Research has shown it time and time and again. Time and time and again. Now, one, that one of the, the, the areas that, um, you know, uh, research has shown that divorces are prevalent in people's life, especially in the state, you know, United States of America, number one is money. It's money. The mammon, that spirit, mammon. And then number two, it has to do with emotions. Emotions. Some trivial stuff. All right? Some, you know what? Let me just be blunt with you. Some stupid stuff would just, just turn the whole house into a war land. And Cutlaries and knives are flying in the air, left, right, center, because of some trivial stuff. Why? Because we 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 have taken our minds of who has the answers, and we have allowed our emotions to be jacked up. All right, and now things are flipping all all over the place. And before you know, you are facing where the sun is shining from, and she is facing where the sun is setting. Are you listening to me? In between, the devil now has a place of playing, you know, his ball. Remember, Ephesians 4.27 says, Neither give the devil a place. No, don't give him a place. Are you listening? And so, what am I saying? Every second, every time, as a child of God, let your mind be on that which the master has said. Every time. You can't lose God. You can't lose God. The Bible said that Satan is going around seeking whom he may be wrong. He's walking back and forth. All right. If he still have a chance to uh, go before, you know, God as when God's uh, children come before him, like in the days of of uh, of Job, the Bible says that he also showed up. God asked him, "Where are you coming from?" He said, "Oh, walking through through and flow on the face of the earth, doing what, seeking whom he may devour." The Bible says, "All right, that's that's what he does." And so, if you don't cover if you don't have this understanding, and even when you have understanding, he still have a, he still looking for a way to try to 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 just have these issues. 
Man, listen, I'm telling you. So you 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 have to be on God. You got to be on God. You got to be on God. Now remember, again, you may, you are born again. All right? But your emotions are not born again. Your emotions are not born. <laughs> My sister always says when the, the weather hasn't changed, she says, this weather doesn't want to be born again. Doesn't want <laughs> when the, the weather is still cold, it's like, man, this weather, the weather don't want to be born again. Are you listening? So I got a lot of stuff. Now, you, you are born again, but your emotions are not born again. Are you listening to me? I'm speaking practical, Christian living, everyday currents right now, says here, life to you. Are you listening to me? And so don't have these funny ideas that, you know, you are a church person and, and that kind of stuff that you don't. Listen, people who you see preaching and teaching and that you admire and all that, if they're going to be real with you about their life in the inside their houses, and sometimes this is what, this is why I, I, you know, I told God, I said, listen, if I cannot be real with this, I don't want to do it. Because, I mean, by the end of the day, who am I fooling? It's like what trying to fool. Be real. I mean, this is it. Are you listening to me? If they're gonna be real with you, if they're gonna be real, practical, real with you, as you know, just not just coming to preach nice messages to you and looking at the way they are dressed and think that all is nice and dandy, but they're gonna be real with you. I think it will help you a lot as a child of God who listens. Are you listening to me? Because see, in my house, in my house, yeah, you know, as much as we laugh, sometimes it's like, you know, the emotion want to just rise up. But I have come to master it. And I'm still trying to master it. But you know what? You are, no, you are not going to be above the word of God. You are not going to be above the word of God. Are you listening to me? And so I, I speak to that emotional stuff that, especially, you know, it's like, man, you, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You need to come to that place because, beloved, it has to do with God. God is the only person who has the solution for your lonely state of mind. Only God. Who has the solution for that state of loneliness all right so you have to you have to um you know get that well i think do, have i quoted any scripture today <laughs> today i haven't given you any scripture yet. all right let me let's go in the word of god oh my goodness come with me to um uh isn't it? let's see nehemiah chapter 1 verse um nehemiah chapter 1 verse 7 come with me to nehemiah chapter 1 verse 7 <clears throat> All right, open your Bibles now. Oh, hallelujah. Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 7. Oh, Jesus. Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 7. I believe that's where it is. And, uh, let me, you know, <clears throat> let's see. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. A stronghold in in the day of trouble and he knows those who trust in him the lord is good the lord is good now i want you to underline that trouble you see when your heart is troubled it can it can draw you into the place of loneliness when your heart is troubled when your heart is troubled i, I was studying i was studying about about um, you know the the current events I mean, the event that that um, our master Jesus, you know, went through from the Garden of Gethsemane, Gethsemane until, you know, Judas, <clears throat> the betrayer came and, um, you know, pointed to him and he was arrested and on and on and on. In that area there, the Bible says that the, and the, the heart of Jesus was troubled. When I saw that, I said, whoa, Jesus himself? Yes. He was troubled even in prayer. He was troubled. He, his heart, the, he, was, he had that sorrow in him. Sorrow. Sorrow. 
Oh my goodness. See, now I understand. Now I do understand why Jabez went back to God and you see Jabez, see, I tell you, go to God. I see why Jabez went back to God and said, Lord, ch change my destiny. Change this name. Jabez means sorrow. Change it. Because I don't want to, <clears throat> I don't want the, the name to characterize me. I don't want the name to characterize me. I don't want to be a sorrowful person. The Bible says that, that Jesus was in sorrow. In sorrow, his heart, my goodness. And that can bring you, that can pull you into the state of loneliness. Are you listening to me? Now, was he around with his disciples? Yes. But he, he, he came to that place of loneliness. All right? And so, again, loneliness is a, it's, listen, and it's a tool and weapon of the devil to, to destroy you. Loneliness can kill you. Loneliness will kill you. And has nothing again for you who are coming behind, you know, you know, late on this platform. Let me tell you, remind you, loneliness has nothing to do with being single. There's a lot of single people who are not lonely. And there's a lot of marital people who are lonely. There's a lot of, you can be in a big family and still be a lonely person. All right? You walk alone. Who is another person who walked alone and, and got destroyed? Uh, uh, destructed? Um, Samson. Samson was a loner. Samson never, Samson, listen, look at Samson. The strongest man, the Bible says. <laughs> Are you listening? It has nothing to do with even being around people. And so you have to watch that. You have to watch it. Your, 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 your job can bring you to the state of loneliness. Are you listening to me? There's a lot of people who, who are, you know, like I said, research shows that even the professional careers, all right, people, I mean, I'm telling you, it will bring you to that place of being lonely. Your job, do you know there's a lot of people whose jobs have pulled them away from their families? A lot of people, career people, their jobs have pulled them out of their families. They are so consumed with the things of their job that they don't even have time to spend with their families. And by the end of the day, they don't have no families. There are people who are spending more time in, you know, in, you know, in, 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 in making money. That is a money, 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 money. They don't spend time to raise their own families. By the time they realize that the, you know the kids have grown up, the kids have nothing, nothing. And it's like, well, I'm I'm working so hard so I can leave inheritance to my my children and all that. Well, you leave them in inheritance. They have no idea how you were going through to leave them that inheritance, and they have no value for what you left them. No value. Have Have you seen anybody? I mean, people that. They, that they, 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 their parents died, left them great wealth. And you see them today and you wonder, how did that happen? Yeah, it's as a result of not, the parents not having time for them. Are you listening? So a lot of car people in careers, I mean, have this issue and problems. Beloved, this is very, this is very, very serious and we cannot play with it. All right. Come with me to Psalm 62. Psalm 62, 1 and 2. <clears throat> Truly my soul silently waits for God. Truly my soul silently waits for God. From Him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Are you listening? When you come to that place, that state of mind... All right, you will not be moved. And beloved, as a child of God and as a believer, you need to stay in this place. That is what I said earlier. You have to be on God. You have to be on God. If you if you are you start that argument or whatever with your partner or this, listen, stop it. Because if you don't, if you don't, your emotions is going to override that which God 
has given to you. God has given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. But if you don't stay focused and you lose God, eh, your emotion, which is not born again, is going to take over, overshadow the word of God. <clears throat> Are you listening to me? It's going, your emotions will overshadow the word of God, which is in your mouth. And when you and when everything is messed up and all that, you look back and say, Oh my goodness, how, how stupid was I? And how foolish have I? The same thing you try to build, you destroy it. Because you you didn't master your emotions, which drifted you into the place of loneliness. It's like I don't care. Well, you have to. All right. Listen to this again. We're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop here uh, for today. Truly, Psalm 61, 1 and two. Truly, my soul. And when it comes to the place of your soul, your emotions, and all those, those are the eight of the the factors that bring you to that state of loneliness. So be careful and watch those things. Truly, my soul silently waits for who? For God. For God, my soul wait silently. In that situation you're going on, maybe with your partner or your job, your your boss, you know, those of you who call your supervisors your boss or manager your bosses and all that. I never call nobody my boss. I had one before and I refuse to call him my boss. Al Betty, his name is Al, I don't know if he's alive or, or what. I say you ain't my boss. I have one boss, and that's God. That's it. And everybody was looking at me, you know, AT&T years ago. I said, no, I got one boss. I ain't calling you a boss. You can be fired yourself. Were you not hired as well? Oh boy, why am I even drifting to this place? You know what? The following day, he never showed up to work. By the end of the week, I understand that he, you know, he wasn't feeling well or something. Guess who they put there to be the supervisor? <laughs> you ain't my boss. All right. Now, truly, my soul silently waits on, waits for God. Why is your soul waiting for God? Because God is the one who has the solution for what could drift you into the state of loneliness. Whatever it may be, whatever you, you fill in the blanks. It's only God. Okay, Psalm 62, 1 and 2. From him comes my salvation. From he, him God. He is my defense. So, you know, this thing is, you know, he is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. I shall not be greatly moved. I shall not. I shall not. He is my defense. So I shall not be greatly moved. He is my defense. Well, you think you've won? Well, go ahead and win. Yeah, go ahead and win. Oh, I won. Oh, winner takes all. Oh, really? You don't have no understanding of life. You don't. Winner don't take so. <laughs> no, you don't. Not when it comes to this life. No. So, you know, he says, my soul silently waits on the Lord. Is, are you allowing your soul to uh, wait on something else or just you want to solve the problem yourself? Do you have answers to that? Do you have answers to that? David went back to God with all that. David was in pain. I mean, sin has gotten him the flesh, his emotions, you know, his mind and all has gotten him to the place of loneliness. David has gotten him to the place of loneliness. Say, God, have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. According unto the multitude of your tender mercies, 
blot out my transgression. Listen to what David was saying. He says, blot out my transgression. He didn't say, blot out my righteousness. Because I'm the king. And, and No, blot out my transgression. And wash me from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my what? From my sins. Why? Because I acknowledge my sins. Cleanse me from my sins. With all... Listen. David was in pain. He was in a place of isolation. He was in place. Now, you know, you know, that's another story. Something just come into my spirit. You know, he, he was in a place where... And... and, and and God could have easily replaced him with all that he did. But you see, the one who was to come and, and take over him as the next king of Israel was not even born yet. And that's Solomon. But, but he has to go through, oh my goodness, I, I don't have time. I feel like I want to just get into another, oh my goodness. Listen. We, 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 you, we have to come to the place of increasing, maturing in our understanding about the things of God. It is my prayer. It is my prayer. My time is up. It is my sincere prayer that you look to God. Look to God. Look to God. Be, when when, when this, your emotions are starting to look to God, just just you know, have a switch. Have that switch that turns on the, the, the light and darkness just goes away. Have that switch in you. Have that switch. Have the switch. Sometimes, you know, you don't have to say a long prayer and go into a hundred, you know, thousand days of fasting. Just have that understanding. In all that getting, get understanding. Are you listening? Get understanding. When you understand, have that switch. Master this emotional turbulences that draws you into the state of loneliness. Forget about it. Be quiet. Switch the switch. Switch the light of 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 God, and and download things that you know will 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 help you. Are you listening? I'm trying to do that. And I'm doing that. And I do that. So I'm teaching you. It works. The word of God works. All the time. Give your life to Jesus. If you are listening to me, you have not done that. Give your life to him. He will baptize. Jesus baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will help you to go through this life of uncertainty. This life of, of all, I mean, just, just you know, fill in the blanks according to where you are. How you can go through and come out successful. I believe, listen, success is waiting for us. It's not going nowhere. It's not going nowhere. It's a matter of time. It's not going nowhere. There's, there's a light at the end of the tunnel and I believe you heard that before. There's light. And you are going through the tunnel to get to that light. And you know, you know the interesting thing is the light actually, actual, actually calls you to to it the light and who's the light jesus says i'm the light of the world <laughs> so he's standing waiting for you jesus is standing and waiting for you would you come to him today come to him he says when you hear my voice don't harden your heart today is your day of salvation tomorrow is not guaranteed beloved tomorrow is not your day Sp Today is yours. You don't know what tomorrow, do you know what tomorrow has? Do you know how it's going to be? You know, I, and this morning I was sharing with um, uh, Mother Lawrence back and forth. And, um, and um, you know, say we should pray for those um, in California with all the fire and all that. And I said, Mother, you will not believe for 24 hours I've been experiencing rainfall rain for it's been raining for 24 hours in another place another side of 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 the earth people are experiencing fire that is just burning everything 
their whole livelihood and everything. Sometimes, and I said to her, sometimes, I said, you understand what you don't understand. And it comes to the place of maturity. Beloved, we need to increase. It's my prayer. It's my prayer that we go do. But you need Jesus. You need him. Are you listening? You need him. You need him today. So, let us let me pray with you. Let me pray with you. And you receive him as your Lord and Savior right now. Receive him. He's going to help you. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I have heard your word. I am convinced and I'm, I feel convicted. I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. And I receive you into my life. Come into my life. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. I believe you will not cast me out. I thank you and I believe you have received me. Jesus, in your name I pray. Amen. If you are that person, I don't know who you are. But let me hear from you, okay? Let me hear from you all the information you need to contact me and this ministry. It's on your screen now, crawling on, on your screen. Please contact me. Uh, let me know, all right? But if you have not been baptized, all right, if you have not been baptized in water, um, ask your pastor if you are in a church or if you are not, find a Bible-believing teaching church, all right? And, um, you know, get yourself involved in that ministry and let them know that you're born again, you've received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you need to be baptized in water you need to be baptized all right it's one of the ordinances that um of, of the christian that you need to do that position yourself for the holy spirit to take control over your life and help you he's our helper okay he's our helper well um again let me just draw your mind your minds to your love for the things of god we are um embarking also on uh, um, getting beds, okay, beds, mattresses, bunk beds, and all that for this orphanage children in Ghana, in the, in the place called Volta region in Ghana, the village called uh, Vedeme. Vedeme, we were there last week, I mean last month, sorry, we were there last month, did all the presentation of this educational materials to these children. Now they need beds to sleep on, and I'm asking you to financially contribute all right as a child of god this is what we have to do all right the government ain't doing it so we gotta help them people of god we gotta do that so i need your financial contribution all right for us to get these beds and mattresses and all that for these children to sleep on they are sleeping on the floor and um those who are even on the beds just about a handful and so please help let's do it all right, give them the best Christmas. We want to do this at least by the end of this month. Give them a bed. We need about 50 bong beds. About 50 bong beds. That means we need about um, 100 mattresses. 100, you know, nice looking mattresses for them and blankets to cover it and all that. All right, so need your support. Need your financial support. So please, if you can sow, you know, $1,000, $500, $50, $100, $200, whatever the Lord puts you in your heart and gives you the ability to do it, do it right now, all right? You can use your pay, your, your, your PayPal, all right? For you to use your PayPal, your credit card, go to the website, www.patrickquinoministries.com. You see the, 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 uh, the donate button there. Click on it and follow the rest of the instructions. If you want to use your... Uh, your cash app or your Zelle app, the number for that to use is 914-572-9816. Again, cash app and Zelle is 914-572-9816. Please also, on your screen, you will see that um, I have posted yesterday, I spoke to you about it, posted how to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's a lot of messages there. It's free of charge. Go and subscribe to it. It's free. And, um, you know, be blessed with it. And share with other people as well. Okay? Share with other people. Well, I don't want you to know that um, we are not um, doing what God has asked us to do. We are doing it. We are doing it. And I, you have to 
do what God is asked us to do. So again, again, you can also share, share from the YouTube account. Go to the YouTube. It's showing right now on your screen how to subscribe to uh, uh, to our YouTube channel. All right, we are live also on YouTube, and so live on YouTube, live on Periscope, live on Twitter, and of course live on Facebook. So go to the YouTube account and share from there. Share from there as well. It will be a blessing. Okay, and get there's more. There's a lot of messages there that you can get to be a blessing to you and your loved ones. God bless you. I want you to know you don't have no trouble. All you need is your faith in God. And in all thy getting, come on, say it. Get understanding. God bless you. <laughs>